All right, let's find out what's happening at the stadium right now. Meredith Morakovic standing by with the clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, it has been a great run of starting pitching, and the Yankees hope that that continues this afternoon. Bob, it's been an unbelievable run. They really have been impressive. And if you look at the fact that they've tossed at least seven shutout innings in each of their last four starts, it is remarkable. And the guys responsible for it started with Corey Kluber and that no-hitter, followed by Domingo Herman, Jordan Montgomery, and Garrett Cole. The last time that they went seven or more shutout innings in four straight games, was 1932 it has not happened since 1932 so when you think of it that way it really is impressive and that's what teammates and manager Aaron Boone said earlier today the group of guys we got um, you know that's one thing I think our team went out and decided to do was go out and get some of the best pitchers around and you know we were able to do that you know adding guys like Corey Kluber you know two-time Cy Young winner um, and a, another you know huge arm like Jamison Tyone um, so I think it's just, you know, getting better each start, each game he pitches, he's getting better and better. Um, and then to have, you know, Garrett Cole at the top of that and, you know, getting Domingo back, it's been something special. Just seeing those guys go out there and, you know, being able to mix all four of their pitches, you know, every single outing, throw any pitch at any time, um, get out of big situations, um, and just really show no panic. You know, every single time, it doesn't matter if there's guys on base, you know, we're down a run, tie game, you know, they're still out there, um, you know, pounding the zone, you know, attacking guys and, and then doing their job. So it's been it's been fun fun to watch them all been on defense. You know, I've been getting much work, you know, when those guys are on the mound. They've been terrific, you know, and I mean obviously this run they're they're on right now is really impressive, obviously, but um, you know, I think it goes back further really for the better part of a month. They've been they've been really solid and strong and tone setters for the whole team. And it's Jamison Tyone's turn this afternoon. And Jack, as you mentioned, we've seen it at times. He's had great stuff, but he's really lacked consistency. And one thing that I took away from yesterday's Zoom is that Tyone believes he's capable of much more. I need to step up regardless of who's behind me, who's in AAA, who's coming back. Um, you know, numbers wise, it's not where I'd like it right now. So I need to step up regardless of who's waiting in the wings and who's coming back. Um, but that being said, it is early in the year, and I've got a lot of starts to, to right the ship and go out there and, and get things done. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great rotation. They've been pitching extremely, extremely well. I'd love to go out there and match it. Um, but at the same time, I'm definitely aware of the fact that, you know, I'm not doing what all the other guys are doing, and I'd love to, to step up and start taking part in that. And the Yankees would love for him to do so. I asked Aaron Boone earlier today what Tayo needs to do to take a step in the right direction. I think it's just obviously getting a little more consistent uh, in some of the outings where, where, you know, he hasn't finished off a good outing. But, you know, we're seeing everything stuff-wise. We're seeing enough success from him. Um, you know, I think in some of those games where he – has struggled a little bit you know he's been victimized a little bit by a long that long inning where he hasn't finished off some hitters um, when he's gotten them to two strikes or even even in some really good two strike counts oh two one two uh, there's been some games where he hasn't put guys away and um, you know hopefully he continues to get better and better in that because everything we're seeing from him stuff wise suggests that uh, he should do really well. There are a couple notes when it comes to today's lineup. Aaron Judge will DH. So the outfield from left to right will be Andujar, Gardner, and Clint Frazier. Frazier had missed the previous five games with some neck issues, but Aaron Boone said he is good to go. There are no concerns there anymore. Also noteworthy, Luke Voigt is back in the lineup at first base, and Gary Sanchez will once again catch Jamison Tyone. Earlier today on the field during optional batting practice, John Carlos Stanton was out there getting some reps in the cage. Now, he's eligible to come off the injured list next series. I asked Aaron Boone whether or not he would be coming off the injured list, and he said, we'll see. He is moving in the right direction. He has been working out the last couple of days, and certainly a good sign to see him on the field 